Restoring Local Level Decision Making. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 280. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is a weekly progress update number 280, August 5th, 2018 edition. One Community's mission, if you're not familiar with it, is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on our planet and to build open source and self replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. Today's topic is restoring local level decision making which is a major foundation of what One Community is all about. It's about freedom, it's about having control over our lives, and it's about restoring control over a lot of aspects of our lives that most people don't have any control over right now. And those include things like the quality of our food, the quality of our air, the quality of our water, being able to make uh, decisions as far as how your community, your local community is operating and functioning, to be able to have more choices as far as the activities that you want to do, the recreational and social activities that you'd like to do, and more time and freedom to do that. All of this comes from restoring local level decision making. And that restoration of local level decision making is achieved through creating sustainable communities. And those communities can be eco-communities that are separated from traditional community models, or they could be communities within urban environments, working together, collaborating, cooperating on a common share, uh, set of shared values or towards a common goal, which could be applying something like our open source education program, or it could be building a sustainable home or a community garden or any of the different aspects of what it is that we are open sourcing and free sharing. Our goal is to open source and free share all the sustainability components necessary for sustainable civilization. And so what that means is we're restoring local level decision making by creating self-sufficiency, by creating autonomy, by creating freedom. And the way that we're doing that is by taking the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, combining them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as highest good education models, highest good economic models, fulfilled living models, and truer stewardship. And putting these things together to create a complete self-sufficient teacher demonstration hub model, but also providing them in an open source format that can be replicated as individual components as well. And so the local level decision-making process that we are open sourcing could just be about food. It could be about housing. It could be about energy infrastructure. It could be about the education model. It could be just fulfilled living practices. But putting it all together, we have the ability to bring together a group of people with common values and common goals and to create an environment that is exactly what those people want. And so one community is open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions to provide that, to create the foundations for that for a community model designed exactly the way that people want it, with common values and shared goals, and providing them the freedom, the environment, to be able to live exactly the way that they want, with higher quality food, higher quality air, higher quality water, higher quality social architecture and recreational opportunities, and more time and freedom to spend enjoying all of that. And one community's model is to open source and free share that and invite the world to participate. To take the initial pioneer team to build one community as a place that will host hundreds, then thousands, eventually tens of thousands, and ultimately hundreds of thousands of people annually coming to experience everything that one community is, demonstrating what a restoration of local level decision making looks like and what it looks like when we organize and function on a, on a foundation of cooperation and collaboration instead of competition. Local level decision making that's focused on what is for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet, working together, cooperating, collaborating, to create a global cooperative, a global collaborative of groups, organizations, and teacher demonstration hubs working together to create more and more open source and free shared resources so that it can be replicated in even more diverse and interesting ways, adding to the global suite of tools, tutorials, and resources necessary to create 
self-sufficient, sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs anywhere in the world. And that's what you see happening in the video here. Everything happening in the background are the seven sustainable village models. It's also the open source education model and everything else that we're creating to support that so that people can live in integrity, so that people can live the way that they want, so that people can live with the highest possible food quality and water quality and air quality and recreational options, and so people have complete control over their environment and what that provides for them. This is what One Community is doing, and we're an all volunteer, 100% uh, volunteer staff, nonprofit organization, non-governmental organization, creating this because we want to live this way and because we want to see a world that works for everybody. And we know that it's possible within our lifetime if we can make this model easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough so that it will become self-replicating and spread on itself. This is what one community is doing. And with all that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working on all the different components that we see as the foundations to restoring local level decision making through teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs uh, designed to be sustainable, self-sufficient, open source, and to provide more of what people want and more time for people to be able to experience and share what it is that they've created with their friends, their family, and to experience themselves. This is what we're doing. This is what we're up to. And so with that said, check it out. Here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued testing the open source Murphy Bed Furniture Assembly instructions for the back changing and storage area. We do this by building it in SketchUp 3D and noting mistakes as we go. You can see some of this work in progress here. The core team working with Michael Hagler, senior graphic designer and artist, also completed another six pages for the Seven Villages book we're developing. You can see these finished pages here. We also gave another round of feedback, added the four of Michael's images that were complete to the site, and added other finished images to the site too. This included updates to the Earthbag Village, Cobb Village, Compressed Earthblock Village, and Treehouse Village web pages. You can see some of this work here. The core team additionally created and added to the Treehouse Village open source hub this residential open floor plan graphic. Hamanth Kotaru, structural engineer, completed his 18th week helping with the structural engineering research and calculations for the Earthbag Village. This week's focus was more nail embedment calculations and research on the engineering details of the earth and cement mixture used to fill the bags. Mike Kowalski, game developer, finished his 14th week helping update our renders that are too big for anything but a gaming computer. This week, Mike continued working on the Earthbag Village and created the updated four renders you see here. One of these renders was then used by the core team to create this vermiculture bathroom graphic, which is now also on the website. Dean Scholz, architectural designer, Continued with the Cobb Village render updates also. Here's update 125 of Dean's work that produced this final view of the dining area looking south. Due to the complexity and number of light sources, this image took his computer over 12 days to render. Dan Ellick, designer and illustrator, completed his 23rd week working on the Compressed Earthblock Village render editions. This week, he finished this render of one of the living units, which you can now see updated on the site also. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team working with David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, created this overview graphic of the HVAC designs for the duplicable city center. This is for the Seven Villages book we're developing. The core team working with Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 88th week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was initial lighting tests for the living dome sunrise patio, cupola and surrounding patio, and mezzanine level. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering. This week's focus was finishing the spreadsheet for wind low calculations on the cupola roof. You can see some of this work here. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, completed her 16th week helping with the duplicable city center materials and costs. 
This week's focus was cost analysis for the basement retaining wall, footers, foundation, civil and interior work, and plumbing. You can see some of this work here. Last but not least, Doa Feng, civil engineer, completed his 14th week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designs for the Duplical City Center Sprinkler and Emergency Systems Open Source Hub. This week, he continued updating the piping details in AutoCAD, checked the sprinkler pressure in zones H, K, and L, and caught an error in the calculations and redid and updated them for all the zones. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we researched and added Latin names Wikipedia links for the food plants we'll initially be growing. This included researching and excluding plants that were not appropriate for zone five in our outdoor gardens. Additionally, we completed some of the summaries for worm videos on pages 8 and 9 of the food rollout doc. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued and finished work on the objective data and analysis page. This included writing the rest of the content, creating the graphics, and finalizing the formatting. You can see some of this newly complete page here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of restoring local level decision making for the benefit of all people and life on this planet by bringing together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all to create the open source tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions, blueprints necessary for constructing all of this, and then to build one community as a place that people can visit and experience and take what they like and open source, and because it's open source and free shared, and replicate it however they like, wherever they like, whenever they like. This is what we're up to. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog or visit our website. Everything is on there. Uh, there's a massive amount of information, and you're invited to check it out. Uh, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And, of course, if you'd like to help out, the easiest way to help out is to join us on social media, to subscribe to our YouTube channel, keep following our progress, and help us share the information that we're creating. Help us share our open source tutorials. Uh, like I said, subscribe to the YouTube channel, go to our Facebook pages, and just like our posts. That's a great way to help out, or share anything that you're most interested in, you think others would be interested in as well. Well, it's the easiest way to help us out. Of course, there's lots of other ways to help as well. You can visit our helping page on the One Community website. Uh, we are on all the social media, net different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to share information. We're on Pinterest, Tumblr, Reddit, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to access and share our information. Uh, and of course, if you'd like to uh, help out by volunteering, you can visit our helping page. And donations are always appreciated as well. We're 100% unpaid staff. So every dollar of every donation goes towards forwarding our open source mission. It doesn't go towards paychecks for me or anybody else on the team. We're all volunteers. So if you've donated to our project, thank you. If you watched to the end, thank you. If you've liked or shared uh, any of our posts on social media, thank you. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel, thank you. It all makes a difference. If you're just supporting us uh, energetically, just thinking positive thoughts about our project, thank you. It all helps and we appreciate every little bit. So with that said, until next week, we will of course keep on keeping on. Thank you. <laughs>